Moving on to another subject. Yeah. We had a great senator from Montana. Let's talk about math. Math. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's talk about math. So, yeah, Senator from Montana, uh, Steve Daines, was at the southern border. And he was talking about the influx of drugs from Mexico. Was it meth, uh, heroin, uh, fentanyl? Yeah, but he yeah. said something specific about meth. And what Senator was that? Steve Daines from Montana. You might ask, what's a Montanan doing here in the southern border? Well, I represent a state, a northern border state, that has a southern border crisis. What we haven't talked much about yet today in this press conference is what's going on with the drugs pouring across to the southern border. It's a zero-sum game down here in terms of what's going on with our border patrol they have a limited number of resources in fact we've deployed our some of our northern border resources here to help out in the southern border wherever every hour they spend processing the flood of illegal immigrants coming across the border is an hour that is taken away from being in the front lines defending our country and stopping the flood of mexican meth mexican heroin mexican fentanyl 20 years ago in Montana, meth was homemade. It was homegrown. And it had purity levels less than 30%. Today, the meth that is getting into Montana is Mexican cartel. It has purities north of 95%. Far more dangerous, far more addictive, and it's less expensive because they're producing so much of it and then shipping it into our country. I spoke to one of my county sheriffs in Montana 48 hours ago. He told me he was holding seven Mexican cartel members in his jail in Montana in the last couple of weeks. We have MS-13 gang members in Montana. So this is an issue that affects <coughs> a northern border state like Montana. Well, he was trying to explain in a, in a bigger picture that, you know, how immigration is affecting everybody in the United States mm -hmm. and is even affecting a northern bordering state like Montana. Sure, sure. So he, he was explaining that they have to send resources from there to control the southern border because there are drugs coming in, there are illegal immigrants coming in, and uh, he, in that explanation, he was explaining that there is Mexican, Mexican marijuana was coming in. Like, oh, yes. a, a, it's a brand. It's a brand, yes. Mexican math, Mexican yeah. <laughs> heroin. <laughs> Mexican marijuana, Mexican uh, cocaine, Mexican, you name it. Yeah. Adenel and meth and all that. You got to put that yeah. adjective in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that descriptor. Yeah. Okay. Um, so he was making that point. Yeah. Um, he was also making another point about. He was trying to describe how great his state is. Okay. Yeah. He was explaining how Mo Montana used to be great 20 years ago. Hmm. And people have taken their jobs to Mexico. What jobs are those, AJ? <laughs> 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 Surely there's some specific job that he's referring these are, to. These are good paying jobs, manufacturing jobs. Manufacturing, that sounds important. Yeah. Wow, that sounds like the backbone of this country is manufacturing. Yeah, I mean, these were high paying uh, I wonder if there were union jobs. <laughs> uh, these were... <laughs> or were they independent contractors? These were independent contractors. <laughs> uh, didn't come with any health care. <laughs> oh, well, you know. That's it's part of the deal, right? You contract, you get paid high wages, but you get uh, no health care. All yeah, right, so fair uh, enough. So he was uh, explaining um, how Montana used to produce this great meth. Oh. At home. Oh. It was all homegrown. Homegrown meth. Yeah. Right, right. And then the Mexicans. And the Mexicans have taken this mm. job. Imagine that. How dare they? <laughs> 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 yeah, I think his point was lost in that little uh, uh, yeah, second his, there. Yeah, uh, his point did not come out the quite the way he wanted it. And if gauging by the reactions of the senators around him, yeah. <laughs> who wanted to bolt as soon as possible, <laughs> yeah, you, you could see Tom Cotton back there looking around. He wanted to disappear uh, into he, the background. He, yeah, <laughs> he was looking for an exit strategy. <laughs> well, don't ask George Bush. He um, was running for the border. <laughs> <laughs> the other way, like, oh, <laughs> get me out of here. But uh, 
yeah, he uh, he did mention that um, it was thirty percent pure from Montana. Yeah, but that the Mexican meth was ninety was what ninety eight percent, ninety five percent, ninety five percent pure. Yeah, so he obviously he has done some research on this thing. So Mexico does it better. Yeah, <laughs> you should learn from Mexico, right? Yeah, I mean it's competition. He was he didn't want Walter White to be um, <laughs> Juan White, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, breaking bad reference. That's good. That's good. Let's keep that. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be our. Uh, what do you call that? I don't know. Uh, entertainment section. Yeah. <laughs> so. I mean, you can't make this thing up. No. I mean, this is so good. That's why you really can't speak off the cuff if you're from Montana. Yeah. Because you're gonna sound like uh, a meth dealer. <laughs> <laughs> Like you missed the profits from meth in your state. Well, he was trying to make meth great again. So. Well, I'm sure uh, Mexico already did that. So, yeah, yeah. Well, and and that's that. And